Hello everyone, I'm Mario Alejandro and welcome to a vlog. What we're doing today is answering a couple questions. I've gotten, I, I would say in the last six months I've gotten three or four questions on this and that is how do I store my personal collection? I know uh, set, set builders usually like to uh, store their cards in pages but what about if you're a collector and you only collect a certain player like say Andrew Miller or Tim Lynchicum, what do you do? Originally what I did is store them in pages but because I'm so anal and for example there's maybe four or five different versions of this Bowman Chrome uh, 2007 Bowman Chrome I would have to, and I only have what, maybe two or three of them I would have to leave so many blank spaces open and because there's so many products out there I just, it was bugging the hell out of me so ultimately I decided to go with a box and top loaders which works really well because if I'm in the mood to, to uh, look at a card, read the card, whatever I could just go ahead and pick it out, I don't have to go through a page, I don't have to get it real close to me, I could just look at it, read the back, check out whatever I have to check out and put it back in, in an order. You know, but well before I would have to scroll through pages and all that kind of crap. And uh, as far as top loaders, I know there's three different sizes, there is the really really thin, there's the medium size and there's the really really thick ones which I don't like to use but sometimes unfortunately I do have to use them uh, as far as the I, I don't go anywhere near the thin ones I don't buy them whatsoever because they're pretty much garbage to me so I go with the medium ones and for the medium car uh, top loaders I can store regular base cards or although this is a parallel but you know what I mean this is a Bowman Bowman Chrome Refractor it, it's thick enough, the medium one, that it'll fit a typical autograph. Here's uh, Bowman's, um, I think this is Bowman's Best, 2007. It's not a refractor, it's just the way the card looks. So it fits a base card, an autograph. If I have a game used jersey, like this turkey red, it's also thick enough for that one, as you can see. And this is just a medium size. And finally, the autograph and the game used jersey fits just fine, doesn't move around. And of course, I keep it in a top load or a penny sleeve on the inside. All my cards are in penny sleeves and then a top loader. And I think that's definitely the way you should go. Now, as far as the cards that are way too thick, one of them is uh, Upper Deck Exquisite and the other is Upper Deck Black. These cards are ridiculously thick, like too thick. And for that, I would go with the biggest top loader available, which is the large, is what I call it. And, um, these cards, unfortunately, they do roll around a lot. See, as you can see here, it fell right out. Well, thankfully, it's in a, in a penny sleeve. But this is something that you definitely want to be careful, keep an eye out, and just keep it in your box. And, you know, when you pull it out for whatever reason, just ha make sure you uh, careful with it. Because look, this, these come right out. And I haven't really figured out any way, uh, aside from using like a penny sleeve or a penny sleeve over it, to fix that. But they look perfect, as you can see here. They fit perfectly and uh, that's what I use. Now there is one brand that nothing fits in and that is Upper Deck Sweet Spot. As you can see here for the Sweet Spots that I have, I only have two of like 20. I've gone with this hard plastic container which only fits one card. It's almost the same as a penny sleeve. It displays the card perfectly. You can see a card itself, the autograph and it opens up like one of those little cases. I don't know what their names are, but as you can see, you could open it up pretty easily. I, I'm only one-handed right now, but, and also it goes right into the box, fits perfectly. That was a bad example, but it does fit perfectly and does not give you any issues. And uh, as far as mini cards, uh, that is one of the questions that I was asked. Oh, here by the way, is one of my favorite cards. It's an Andrew Miller, Tim Lynch autograph. This is one of the cards that, uh, I had a heart attack when I didn't win it on eBay. But uh, one of the questions I was asked is mini cards, like the Allen and Ginter, for example. How do I store those cards? And I, I think I have an Allen and Ginter. Well, I thought I did. Hmm, let me see. Maybe I don't have the Allen and Ginter mini card. But, uh, do I have it? Oh, there it is. For the Allen and Ginter mini card, it same goes. I put it in a penny, I put it in a penny sleeve and I use the medium sized 
And yeah, it does move around a little bit. The, uh, believe it or not, the penny sleeve holds it in place. It doesn't move around too much. And it, you know, it, it displays well. It goes right into the collection. Another thing I recommend if you're anal like, like I am, is actually putting them in order by year. So this is my only 2006. Uh, I actually have two of them. And then 2007 Bowman, that's out of place because I was looking at it. But like Bowman, Bo uh, Bowman Sterling, Fleer, I have them in alphabetical order. And for example, this one, which I almost have a rainbow, you can see here, the first card in there was the regular Tops 52, then I have the Chrome Tops 52, then I have the Chrome Refractor Tops 52, and the Chrome Gold Refractor Tops 50, 52. And that is something that would look kind of out of place if I used pages. Uh, that's my personal opinions. So there you go. That's how I store my collection. Uh, I love to look at my cards all the time. I, you know, usually during a game I'll pull out the cards, flip through them. I don't know what exactly I do, but I, I love it. And uh, if you have a different way of storing your cards, let me know. Post a video reply and enjoy and keep checking out waxheaven.com. Thank you.